Okay. And the deck is just going to be mana rocks into mana rocks into mana rocks into... Yep, we're going to see a lot of mana rock stuff. We're going to see a lot of one rings, stuff like that. So it mm -hmm. looks like Colin's starting with City of Traders into Grim Monolith. Yeah. Interesting play. I do see an Ancient Tomb in hand, but... Um, yeah, that is interesting. Like he doesn't want to run it and out. is that a Voltaic Key? I think that's a Voltaic Key. Right, one mana floating. I'm going to tap that Grim Monolith. Goes back up to four. He's going to play... I see Karn the Great Creator. Ooh, turn one Karn? No, no, another Grim Oh, Grimmonolith. no, just more Grim Monolith. Could still okay. be a turn one Karn. Just keep the train running. A ton That's of fair. mana right now. It's going to be up to five. Uh, Vexing Bobble, another big one. We've seen that in every match so far. And that's going to be Karn the Great Creator uh, coming in hot right there. Did we lose the chat on here? There it is. Okay. We'll do this with it. Oh, Tim, how's it going, man? We missed you. Oh, wow, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bacon, lettuce, tomato. That's right. That's Tim. Mm -hmm. All right. So we got a Karn, and he just ticked it up, I assume. Mm -hmm. All right. So Andrew's coming in. Looks like, is that a Monastery Swift Spear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So can't imagine that doesn't resolve. Um, well, I don't think Colin has any counter magic, so. <laughs> well, he's got Vexing Bobble. But... Chalice of the Void. That's counter magic. Right? I don't know if Vexing Bobble. Well, I guess um, the only thing you can really get that I can think of is, uh, is what's it called? Yes, both players are 1 0, guys. Um, fire blasts. You can, you can cut off fire blasts. Mm -hmm. Right, absolutely. So, I mean, and that's the power of that card, right? Like, being able to turn it into a card anytime you want to just makes it main deckable. Yeah. You can't play it yeah. otherwise, but the fact that you can just cash it in for another card yeah. is so strong. Yeah, it's just, it cycles, essentially, right? One mm -hmm. mana plus one mana. It's essentially a cycling. Right. Any yeah, deck he's going to wish for... Mm -hmm. Wow, this could be could be quick here. Grabbing the Microsoft Lattice, using the Voltaic Key to untap the Grim Monolith. Going to go up to four mana right here. And looks play like another he's going to key. play, yeah, three up to, key up to, uh, down to three. Could activate one more time down to two. That's going to be five mana off the Monolith. Still not enough for the um, Lattice, unless he's got a land in hand. I think yeah, I do see an the Ancient Tomb. There's the Ancient Tomb. Yeah. All right, so is Andrew dead here? He's got, oh, he can't cast, so... He can try and attack the Karn to get rid of it, but it's it's going to hit the Karn at the same rate that Colin can kick it up. Mm -hmm. And he can't cast anything. Cast spells otherwise, yeah. So I think that's a lock. Mm -hmm. Of course, the Monastery Suspear can hit um, 20 times. Maybe 18, yeah. An Ancient Tomb is just tapped, but... I'm kind of thinking that's not happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, hopefully he doesn't try and cast anything. I think he understands what's going on right here. Um... Yeah, so the way this lock works, um, Karn is going to stop the activated abilities of artifacts from working. Yes. And Micah and Lattice is going to make everything an artifact. So my understanding is Andrew can't cast that Fire Blast because he can't pitch a red card because all I'm, cards are colorless. I think that's right. So I think we got a judge call. Yeah, I just heard him yell judge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is, as you said, I mean, this is not quite a hard lock, but it is as close to one as you can get without mm -hmm. being a hard lock itself. Um, judge call right here. I think Andrew just sort of misunderstood. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe didn't quite understand uh, the interaction between Karn the Great Creator and Michael's Lattice. But, um, yeah, I feel like we're going to see a scoop pretty quickly right here. Yeah. I mean, oh, he's got, oh, he's, did he sack the Vexing Bobble? It looks like he sacked the Vexing Bobble, so... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Pretty hard to pitch a red card when all cards are colorless. <laughs> oh right, fire blast is sack two mountains, not pitch a red card. Um, mm -hmm. that's right. Okay, thanks, chat. I I'm my, oh whoops, my card knowledge is not good. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so it looks like uh. Yeah, that's huge. Okay. I'm so sorry. I was on the wrong page as well. But looks like he's going to break out of that lock. <sighs> Colin's in a really tough spot now. I mean, his only land is an Ancient Tomb. Burn's favorite land. And he's got these two Grim Monoliths making a bunch of mana, but not really doing anything with them. And this Microsoft Lattice is just, um, it's just a piece of cardboard at this point. Yeah, unless yeah. he finds another Karn, which he could find another Karn. Mm -hmm. 
Right, and if he does, he'll be in a much better spot, but mm -hmm. I mean, Burn is really putting turning the screws on him right now. And is that, what card did he just play there? Oh, that's a Flesh Raker. Raker. Yeah, okay. followed by So it looks like he went Flesh Raker into Pedal to trigger. Mm -hmm. So that probably means Andrew's at 19 right now. Well, probably 18 because of the thing, so. Mm -hmm. We still can't get the life total thing working. <laughs> More technical difficulties. Andrew's going to mm -hmm. suspend a Rift Bolt right here. One counter on it. I think it's just going to go for that Flesh Raker, but Colin's got to draw something right here if he wants to get out of this. Um, does have a good amount of mana. I think I count... What is that? It's going to be 2, 3, 2, 5, 4, 7, 8 mana. 10 available with the Ancient Tomb. Um, He's got the mana. I don't mm -hmm. think that's the issue. Yeah, right. I'm not sure why he popped the bauble. Did he... Did he have to draw the mana to cast the lattice there? I couldn't quite see what, what mm -hmm. happened there, but... Right, but that was huge. Not having that bauble in play mm -hmm. did allow that Fire Blast to resolve. A Basalt yeah. Monolith is going to come into play, and yeah, it looks like that Clarion Flesh Rick is going to go down. I mean, this one could... Too, and that's that's a chump. That, that makes sense. Right. Mana, mana's not his issue, so... Right. And those are those 0-1 uh, I'll draw these spawn tokens that yep. can sack for one colorless. Um, I'm yeah. sad we're not, we don't have Pokemon cards again this time. It's... <laughs> We can just get those guys back on camera. Yeah. Get uh, Sean Stone Ash back. Yeah. Can we yeah. borrow Sean's Pokemon tokens? <laughs> ah. Mm. It's always funny when you look at a board and there's like 90 permanents on one side and two on the other. It's even funnier when the two permanents are in the driver's seat. Yeah. <laughs> just we're going to come in no, this, this feels toss-up territory to me since mm -hmm. there's so many ways he can he can combo out of this. Mm -hmm. Interesting of uh, Colin to not block, but I think it's the right choice. Yeah, I'd wait till it pumps, right? Right, you're right. almost guaranteed to be yeah. able to prevent more damage in the future from that monastery switch. Okay, here. and that's a Kozilek's command from an, from for Colin in his hand, mm -hmm. which seems really good here. He's probably going to be able to either blow up the Swift Spear or make a bunch of tokens and get like a, a Scry Ten draw or something like that. That's mm -hmm. probably finds him something, right? All he's got to do is find a Karn, I believe, and he should be okay. Right, but a really huge. Not uh... Sure, what his life totals at? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got a fetch. Andrew's got a little more mana now. Huge opportunity for um, Colin to find uh, something that can, I say, shut the door on this game, maybe for a second time. Okay, and this is that um, Outlaws of Thunder Junction card. I can't remember the card, but it's got it's got haste and gets. Yeah, it's like another switch spear. Mm -hmm. Sort of like a Turbo Kitchen Finks. Andrew's gonna swing with both. Yeah. Monster yeah, Sister's right. gonna be blocked, prevent two damage. Oh. Um, I've got to imagine he's going to fire off the K-Command end of turn right here. <laughs> K-Command. Yeah, it's a new yeah, K-Command. new yeah. K-Command. <laughs> okay, first. Oh, that's his, that's his mana count. We don't know what the total... It's going to be big, though. Mm -hmm. I right. wonder if he's going to make... I, I think he just makes creatures with it, right? Makes creatures for sure. Can you choose two modes? Two modes, yeah. So okay. he's going to pick... My guess is I would make creatures and scry and draw. Mm-hmm. Right, being able to scry, what, yeah. like 10, 15 cards deep. Yeah. Um, he's got a really good shot at finding what he's looking for. Wants to tap the monoliths a little bit more carefully, because once they get tapped down, uh, it's hard to get them untapped. Well, he's got two Voltaic keys, uh -huh. or manifold keys, right? Right, but it looks like he's going to leave that Basalt monolith untapped. Uh, just want to make sure he doesn't go too deep yeah. on it. Oh, uh, uh, now he's tapping the Basalt monolith. All right, too. then I stand yep. corrected. Uh, yep. okay. <laughs> he's just... got 11 mana, so this seems like for nine. Okay, yeah. so he is going to sl slick shot, or I can't remember. Um, so he's going to exile that, and I, he's got to draw, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Scry scry 11 draw, or scry 9. Couldn't tell if it... That looks like 9. Okay, yeah. yeah. If I'm okay. not mistaken, I think he's taking 0 right here. Uh, blocking the monster to with the Eldrazi token. Then sacrificing it. Yeah. And casting the Kozilek's command in response. Ah, okay. So that was the sequencing. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think he just scryed 8 to the bottom and took one card, so... Found a lot of junk and then one card he wanted, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Model is still tapped. He's going to tap, draw. Uh, I think I saw a Lotus Petal? I can't imagine that's what he scribed to the top. Mm, no. <laughs> yes. I think, yeah. Just yeah. trying to make it what was in his hand. Saw a Retrofitter Foundry as well. Probably a Lotus Petal. That's yeah. Strange. Although Retrofitter Foundry does kind of infinitely chump that Swift Spear. Mm -hmm. But you can see he's preserving his life total. Cracking that Lotus Petal to untap the Monolith. Uh, doesn't want to tap that Ancient Tomb, and it looks like he's going to use this key one more time. Yeah, I see Is a one, one ring? ring. I do see a one ring in okay. hand, so. Yeah. That's 
It's pretty good. It's going to be very good. Also turns on that Ancient Tomb. He can now tap it for mana without taking Yes, damage. love it. Yeah. Combo, right? That's, <laughs> that's the combo. That's, that the Mystic Fortress that's combo. why it says combo. Yeah. <laughs> it's a one ring with Ancient Tomb. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everything's a combo deck if you split okay, hard enough. Is, I don't know what that card is. It's like a mm. Pipping Needle? Oh, it's a Pipping Needle. Okay. I wonder what he needles here. Probably the Sunbaked Canyon. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably the only real needle target in the deck. Mm -hmm. Eidolon. Ooh. And that's good, too. Really insulates against that Karn as well. If you can find a, if a Colin can find another Karn, you want to have as many creatures on board as possible. But um, I think it's going to help a lot with um, just small chip shots against a lot of the small artifacts that Colin has in his yeah. deck. So I guess the only issue is Eidolon only gets... Tar spells with three or less, right? Mm -hmm. So there is going to be quite a few spells that, that Colin can cast here safely, but like things oh, like Vermonolids, Petalus, Petals, yeah. yeah, they... Yeah, and you're right, if um, if he finds Karn, it can make it a lock, except for Eidolon can keep him from casting some stuff, so mm -hmm. I don't... I mean, I think he'd be able to get out of that, but... Oh, and looks like Colin's stepping away from the table. Maybe another judge question right here. Maybe, yeah. yeah. I did see he drew another one ring off of um, that first one. Uh, and kind of keep chaining those together for... I mean, not even, right? I think after... There are there are windows at instant speed where you can burn somebody who casts the one ring. Is that correct? Because it's going to be a, a come-into-play trigger. Yes. And, and then, you can then you can respond to the trigger. Uh -huh. yeah. Or you can do it with it on the stack. But, right. Um, Oh, it's okay. We'll get rid of that. Okay. Yeah. yeah, this doesn't seem to be working here. Yeah. He might be asking about the... Um... Okay, so Petal's gonna... Petal's gonna take should, two. Should take two off Petal. Right. Has that Ancient Tomb as well. Taking a lot of damage right here. So he's gonna sacrifice this. Voltaic Key. Untap the Grim Monolith. She should have three mana. Yeah. Five mana. Yeah. And did you say you saw a Karn in his hand? I, I see think a I saw a Karn. Yeah, there's yeah. Karn. Mm -hmm. So if he plays Karn, he's got to protect it. Mm -hmm. Right. So Karn is just not as good. Okay, so that's going to be the one ring. Okay, so another one ring. So he's mm -hmm. just going to preserve for another turn. Okay. Right. I see a There's the flesh raker. Hand. Yeah, flesh raker in hand. I see a moxable and a Karn right there. Okay. So he yeah. still might have a chance to combo out here. So, uh, that's a Mox Opal. He's going to take... Oh, he's not going to take two. He has protection from everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So yeah, that's going to be one more to This Andrew. is big. I, I think he... I feel like Colin's in the driver's seat now. Mm. Depending on life totals, yeah. I think yeah. he's very... I don't think he's low. My guess is he's somewhere in the, the high single digits, but mm -hmm. I'm not certain. Okay, here comes the Chain Lightning. Right. So he's going to try and keep that dude off the board. The flesh Andrew, Raker, right? Yeah. Because yep. Colin has protection from everything at this point. You just want to get that off the board. Yep. That's a combo piece in this deck, so it might be a little bit harder to uh, assemble everything. Right, right. That's why it feels like Karn Mikasin's like kind of the, the best way to lock him. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But, Andrew leaving the uh, Sunbaked Canyon untapped so doesn't want to play what I thought was another Swiss Spear in his hands. But uh, if that Karn comes down, yeah, yeah. it's going to be really difficult to. Um, that's interesting. Yeah. Another does he have does he have metalcraft? <laughs> we should probably sure. go out there. And just can we count? Yeah, yeah, just just in case, just in case. I'm not sure. I don't think I can count that high. <laughs> um, it right. looks like an Eldrazi temple. Right. Brought to you by the commentary team. Yeah. Um, so it's gonna pay. Yeah, go down to one. Car the great creator. So that Microsoft lattice is back online. Um, I kind of wonder what the. Ooh, what did he? Oh, animated and swung with it. Oh, okay. I thought he was trying to exile it. Can you get in there for six? Wow. I don't know. Again, this, these live totals are killing me. But yeah, I do see a Price of Progress, uh, Chain Lightning, and a Monster Swift Spear in Andrew's hand. He can't cast any of those now. Right. Yeah, I think I think getting the Swift Spear down last turn might have been the way to go then. Mm -hmm. And this is interesting. The swing with the Microsoft Lattice, that's going to come in for six right there. Uh, Andrew choosing not to block. He might... Um, I don't know. Does he need to go for Karn at this point? Uh, or I think Colin I just might well, be low well, enough. It depends what his life total is, right? Right, yeah. yeah. But I think he If Colin's low enough. Oh, he's going to chump. I assume he chumped the Eidolon and took one. Yeah. And it looks like he's scooping it up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's going to be game one going to Andrew right there. Really interesting sequence in the beginning. I, I 
I, again, I, I can't, I can't uh, remember what happened with that bobble, but um, you know, Colin's definitely going to keep those in going forward, especially if he wants to opt for that uh, Magnus's lattice Karn combo right there. You really need to have uh, some sort of a uh, insulation against the um, fire blast coming out of burn. Yeah. Okay. So we got Slick Shot Show Off. That's the card I was trying to think of. So we got his deck list here. It's pretty standard burn. He's got DRC. That's interesting. So no goblin guides in this burn list. Mm -hmm. But he does have Eidolon and Monastery Swift Spear and then Slick Shot Show Off. Um, he's got a main deck Exquisite Firecraft. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Really great against the blue decks. Yep. And he's, he trimmed down to three price of progress. That's that's very interesting too. Mm -hmm. um, and he's running four Mistress Bobbles. I wonder what the purpose of the Mistress Bobbles are. Is it Slick Shot Show Off? Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, it gets plus two, plus zero. So I think he's trying to just pump the oh and and monastery swift spear right mm -hmm. okay dragon's rage channeler as well right it's, yeah. it's a delirium enabler wow so there's quite a few reasons mm -hmm. for that aren't there yeah sort of interesting i think yeah. um dragon's rage might be the main reason but uh being able to trigger everything else um you get some minor uh fixing as well with the uh fetch lands yep. and being able to look at the top card of your deck but uh, i gotta imagine the main reason is just for that uh dragon's rage channeler Okay, and then sideboard stuff. It looks like he's got three Roiling Vortexes. That that seems good here too, right? If no mana was... So Roiling Vortex, at the beginning of each player's upkeep, Roiling Vortex, Roiling, Roiling Vortex deals one damage to them. And then this is the relevant uh, text. Whenever a player casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast that spell, Roiling Vortex deals five damage to that player. So yeah, that's going to be... feels solid. That's also something that can win under... It can get those last few points of damage in under Karn. Mm -hmm. under right. Karn lock. Yeah. And the other thing, he's got four Smash to Smithereens. I think those oh, that's got to come in. Those yeah. are auto includes. Yeah. yeah. Card is. Um, I mean, this is the matchup that card was born for. So. Okay. So let's find. Uh... I don't know if you see. Oh, there it was. Collins deck list. He's got. Okay, that's what I was expecting. Four Karn, four Glaring Flesh Raker, four Kozilex Command right out the gate. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, it's just he's only running two Mystic Forge. Is that typical? I you know it's funny because they call it Mystic Forge combo, but um, it's only running two Mystic Forges is interesting. Maybe it, it just benefits more from the the Kozilex and Flesh Raker at this point. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I can imagine the card might be dead up until uh, the turn you want to go off with it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then we got from the board. I'm not sure what Colin brings in here. Argenta Masticore doesn't. I mean, it blocks, but, like, I don't think that's really where you want to be. And Snaring Bridge could be fine, but also could just, like, kind of do nothing. I wouldn't be shocked if Collins just running back his, his 60 at this point. He doesn't, believe it or not, in 2024 Legacy, he doesn't have a very detailed so burn sideboard ready. <laughs> There's also this awkward yeah. tension with the Karn decks where they don't want to board in some of their Silver Bullet cards. Like, I saw a... Oh, it's a good catch. Yeah, Bubble is going to shut down. Shut oh, down the it Rift does. Bolts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bubble shuts down Rip Bolts. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Yeah, and Andrew playing the four Mistress Bobbles as well are going to get yeah. uh, are going to get hit by the new Vexing Bobble. Yeah, bobble as well. Um, but yeah, like it's that awkward tension sometimes where you want to bring in a card like Worm Coil Engine, but and then you want, don't want to dilute your combo and your mana. Right, yeah. but also you have this card. You know, you probably have four copies of Card the Great Creator. To fetch it out of the sideboard. Yeah. And so you might actually have an easier time finding it there than if you boarded it in. Right. So sometimes what I like to do with that type of deck is if I uh, if I have, say, you know, two Worm Coil Engines from the board, I'll split them one and one and bring one in and leave one for Karn. Mm -hmm. But you get that tension. Now you need 10 mana to get that thing out. And um, oh, that should be, should be right, right? What's that? Should be right. Wait, did Andrew or Colin get game one? I thought he, I thought Colin did. Oh, did he? Oh, whoops. I'm not sure. Maybe the, maybe he was closer. We should check that. Okay, that seems important. <laughs> we'll probably know when they start playing. That's true too. I think you're no. Hey, I think you're right, Ben. Right, Andrew's gonna lead off with a mountain into a rift bolt right here. Okay, Colin, yeah, Colin got game one. Yeah. Uh, or he chose to be on the draw for oh, yeah, whatever reason. Away, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Right. Okay. So that Rift Bolt's going to come out. Um, I could not tell you what that was. I didn't quite see what the land was. It looks like a Voltaic or Manifold Key. Mm -hmm. Right. 
Uh, Riftbolt's going to come off Suspend. Colin's going to drop to 17. Uh, is that an Urza's Workshop from Colin? It might be. It's kind of what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not sure what... Wait, you can take that back. Yeah. Uh, that might be the Roiling Vortex he just played. Yeah, we're just going to turn off live totals for a second. Uh, they're not <laughs> correct, so I don't want to mislead anybody. Uh, okay. We are still working on getting them uh, back together, but... Uh, yeah, it just doesn't seem to be working at the moment. All right, there we go. Okay, when we figure out life totals, we'll try and bring them back. Right, so that rolling vortex, yeah, as you mentioned, it's going to come down right here and uh, puts a bit of a clock on uh, Colin. Yeah, I mean, it's a slow clock, mm -hmm. but, like, it shuts off so many of his zeros, too. It's like, do you just play your lotus petal into it and take the five to try and combo quicker, or do you dawdle... And the burn deck's throwing five at your face anyway, and now you don't have Lotus Petal, you know? Right, absolutely. So it's there's some tension there. Yeah. And also, it makes it... Say he gets down to three life and assembles his Karn combo, it can still win, right? Yeah, absolutely. So it can it can just slowly slowly ping him away. Mm -hmm. I agree with bringing it in for yeah. sure. Um, I can't, is that a Basalt Monolith? It is I can't a quite monolith. tell. It's really in the glare right now. Yeah. The sun's at the wrong point right, right now. See a glaring Flesh Raker, one ring... Uh, the Kozilek's commands uh, on the side of Colin right now. So, pretty similar to the last game. I think he's pretty well set up to take this one. And there's Eidolon. Wow. He's really going to start burning out. Yeah. Burning out some, some of those small spells. So, so Colin really can't. He can't take, play a Lotus Battle for seven damage. That's that's <laughs> madness. Yeah. And not the good kind of madness where you get to cast things for free. <laughs> the other kind of madness. The LED yeah. madness. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately not. Uh, oh, that might be... Um... Okay, so that was a Basalt Monolith, because he just he just tapped it and, and keyed it to make right. five mana. So... And this looks like a Kozilex. Okay. Right. So he's going to burn that, and I assume Scry? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, he's making tokens. Okay, so three tokens. Right. Colin's going to knock that Eidolon off the board. going to be very beneficial for him. Uh, X equals three means he'll also get three of these... Uh, not Lotus Petals, but this is a um, zero one on Drowsy no. Tokens that sacrifice for Colorless. They're, they're kind of Lotus Petals to his deck, right? That's true. They are basically Lotus yeah. Petals in this deck. Um, but he's working with a lot of mana at this point. Uh, I was thinking of Drowsy Temple. Yep. So there's the Flesh Raker. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Going to sacrifice the three out Drowsy Spawn. Play another Flesh Raker. Trigger the first one. Um, he will get... Another Eldrazi Scion token. Double Flesh Raker is so good. Yeah. So he almost just doesn't... Well, what can he do here? He can... He has a One Ring in hand, so he could use Ancient Tomb to untap his Monolith and play the One Ring, which mm -hmm. seems fine to me. But he's, he's going to decline to do that. Right, maybe just just want to tap that Ancient Tomb more than he needs I, to. Yeah, I definitely get it. Mm -hmm. I mean, the risk you run here is that Andrew has Bolt Bolt and kills both your Flesh Rakers on you. Mm -hmm. But the, the 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 ring coming down that last turn didn't change too much with mm -hmm. that. It would have just gave him a little bit. Right. And having that ring uh, in hand means even if these Flesh Rakers get double bolted, you just play the ring, tap it, and just start refilling immediately. Okay. Well, there's one Bolt, I assume, pointed at a Flesh Raker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's one down. See if he has the other one. Uh, I would definitely get these off the board. Oh, and he's going to pass right here. Uh, okay, I didn't... What else did he have in hand? I couldn't quite tell. I think I saw a slick shot show off. Okay. And maybe a price of progress. But he's got three cards, so there was maybe one more there. Um, Colin sacrificing the Eldrazi Scion at end of turn to untap the okay. Basalt Monolith with the sure, Manifold sure. Key. Going to tap it for uh, the Monolith for three. Thinking about it right here. Might be one ring time. Feels very one ring time. It looks like there's an Urza Saga in his hand, too. Mm -hmm. He's probably a little worried about running into Price of Progress at this point, though. Yeah, I definitely would be as well. Price of Progress is going to nug him for eight if he goes down that route, but uh, we'll opt to play it, deciding he needs the mana, and tapping and there's the one ring. four well, for that, one ring. That changes a little bit on your Price of Progress. <laughs> yeah. Progress loses, loses a little bit of value there. It becomes a lot worse. Yep. Yeah. So. Yep. Obviously, that's going to resolve. Colin's going to tap to draw a card, it looks like. I assume he's going to draw. That's uh -huh. kind of what you do with one ring. There it goes. <laughs> okay. And I think I see a Vexing Bobble in hand, plus a 
Maybe another key. I don't think you play those here, right? You, you don't want to take five. Oh, wait. Is that... The Royaling Vortex is no mana, right? So, right. Yeah. No mana, correct. Eidolon's off the board, so he can't cast those. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there comes Vexing Bauble. So wait, is that... No, that's key. That's a key. That's going to be the key, yeah. Yeah. So that's going to generate a ton of mana and a ton of cards with uh, One Ring and uh, the Basalt Monolith. I don't think mana's his issue, though, right now. I don't think so, either. <laughs> Gonna tap, tap one more time, draw two cards, take two damage, but again, one ring gives protection. Well, it everything. doesn't take it doesn't take two until your upkeep. Oh, so, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so he can do this a lot of times and mm -hmm. not not lose too much value on it. Yeah, draws another key. So keep it spinning. Keep it spinning. Woo! Do it oh again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if he keeps drawing keys, he just keeps drawing cards. Yeah, gonna cast another key, make another scion. Yeah, this is... Yep. He, he is popping off right here. Man, Andrew's really wishing he had Eidolon here. Although I guess it wouldn't matter because that because that One Ring. Yeah. What a crazy card. One Ring is so strong. It's pretty good. <laughs> Seems decent. So I now want to get my One Rings signed by Elijah Wood. Ooh. That'd be fun. That it? would be very yeah. fun. Yeah, I, I love signed cards. I like trying to get everything signed. Now I... I thought about it. Or Andy Circus. I don't know which one would be better. <laughs> he's the um, he's, he's the character actor that plays Gollum. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm not sure. Now, if I can get both, that would be perfection. Just one of each, yeah, right? right? Yeah. Throw in some uh, Viggo Mortensen and some Sean Astin. Right yeah. There. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll get Kate Blanchett to write, like, don't give this to me on there, whatever she says. <laughs> <sighs> Colin popping off right here. Looks like he's going to be drawing cards, gaining mana. Yeah. More Flesh Rakers. A second Flesh Raker, Ooh, yeah. So okay. he's coming out positive. Uh, but he might be just about out of mana. Oh, no, he's got an untapped Assault Monolith. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, okay. Yeah. So he's still got access to four mana here. So every one mana card if, he plays, he'll gain two If mana. he's got Kozilek's Command here, that's just perfection. Mm -hmm. Three. Yeah. Pull out the big die for that one. Knows we're going to be counting uh, quite high. Ooh, changes his mind. That was the Vexing Bobble. That is the Vexing Bobble, yeah. Which still may... I think that nets you positive mana, right? Because right. it's going to make two Scions. Mm -hmm. Ping Andrew for two. Yeah. And you're going to be up a mana. Yeah. No reason not to play it. <laughs> I don't see why you don't play it either. Maybe he's... Unless he's got... Well, he, might, he might be weighing something else. Right. Probably just thinking about how he wants to sequence everything. Um, yep. Yeah. Didn't catch the other cards in hand. Oh, I see Looks a like I see, I see a Karn. Is he yeah. holds his cards upside down? That's interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I guess if you know what they do, you don't have to read them. Yeah, I mean, I, last time I read the cards in my hand was a while ago, but... <laughs> Actually, I'm lying. I do it almost every week because I forget what my cards do. <laughs> At least you read the cards. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, what I do is I read the card and then immediately play it wrong right after I read it. Oh. Um, so, I was about yeah. to ask if you ever had to correct somebody on what their own card did, but... Yeah, I've yeah. done that. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Colin thinking this one over, uh, I guess, counting Flesh Raker triggers now. Uh, yeah. yeah. Should be two more. Andrew's going to be taking some damage right here. I, I have to imagine this one's wrapped up in the bag. Um, well, last time we said it felt really, really dire for the player on the left. They found a Chaos Defiler and won the game. So that's true. Maybe we don't know what we're talking about. That's a possibility as well. I don't think Andrew wants to see a Chaos Defiler right now. For, he really uh, doesn't want to see a Chaos Defiler. Yeah, he, he'd have a tough time casting that. <laughs> He yeah. also might get a DQ'd for shuffling say, cards yeah. that were in his deck list into his deck. There's a deck but, list error right there as yeah. well. Fleshmaker yeah. looks like coming in for two right here. Um, well, that's like someone told me they got a turn one, turn one win with Burn one time at an event. All right, I'll bite. How do how they do it? Well, they played Goblin Guide. They attacked, and their opponent flipped uh, Dig Through Time off the top of their deck, and they said, hey, that's banned. And <laughs> I'd count it. That's yeah. a turn one win. <laughs> turn one win right I'm counting it. Oh boy, that's that is turn one, and that is a win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got a game win. Yeah, yeah. What's <laughs> that guy come over and tell us? Okay. Anyway, and that looks like it's going to wrap it up. All yeah. right, Colin Roundtree is going to take it down in two games. Right at this point. Now.